and so it ended in the man's death, as every person's tale does. The man known by family and friends as Dark Side Dave, Philip Burnell, died peacefully in his sleep at the age of 78. He was survived by his loving wife and son. The news of Dave's passing sent ripples through the gaming community. This early pioneer had adapted to new innovations, embraced his trolls and their memes, and brought stellar coverage of video games. He was humbled by this as how you don't plays and with the help of his fans and detractors alike, trailblazed this new genre. The format became as renowned as the tried and true highlight reel. With his passing came a renewal of interest in him, and generations to come were delighted by the personality that was Dark Side Dave. Many local newspapers announced Dave's passing. Several of these sources mentioned his time as an internet content creator. This came as a shock as Dave had been known for decades as a modest family man who worked hard for a living. His community watched his quality content and felt a new greater connection to their late neighbor. Dave had been found the morning after his death by his adoring wife. While pain consumed her, she was happy that he passed so peacefully, by her side. Leanna joined her late husband a few years later. Her last thought was of the time she had spent with the love of her life. She was truly glad to have found a man who only placed her first and wasn't a selfish prick. John Rambo had always stayed in contact with Dave, long past their times as internet content creators. They worked extensively together afterwards when Dave got into real estate and development. John Rambo spoke earnestly at Dave's wake, reminiscing on their old business relationship that placed camaraderie before monetary gain. Family, friends, and colleagues alike attended Dave's funeral. Those from both of Dave's worlds, online and off, came to celebrate the entirety of Dave, his accomplishments, and his adventures. Phil Jr. had grown into a decent man. His father's tutelage saw his endearing traits passed on to the son. Phil Jr. would move on to his own dreams, never following in his father's work. There was no sadness, as Phil Jr. had been encouraged to embrace his own destiny. Ket waited for her knight in shining armor to save her, but he never came. She eventually grew to accept watching Marvel movies when she didn't want to. DSD's phone, full of WWE apps due to his sponsorship with WWE, was passed on to his wife. But she coveted it for the trove of videos and photos Dave had taken of the adventures he had with his family. DSD's fanbase had seen unprecedented growth during his time as a content creator. Most YouTube content creators could say they traced their inspiration back to Dave. His fanbase saw the absorption of his detractors as he demonstrated the humility to take their criticisms and put honest effort into improving himself and his content. In this way, he became an example for celebrities in general to emulate. Dave's few remaining detractors engaged in a childish and petty celebration of his death. They were shamed and ridiculed into submission, shouted off the internet into the dark corners they dwelled in. Kevin had used the money he made collaborating with Dave on this as how you don't plays to move to a city with a winning football team. When he heard Dave had died, he loaded up Street Fighter one last time to honor the fallen. As he played, he felt his old impression resurface, letting loose of what? Oh I was blacking. Hideo Kojima had been a fan of the This Is How You Don't plays that Dave helped to pioneer. In honor of Dave, he included a reference in his last game, giving a character a secret dialogue where he struggled to use his rations. Dale Sparrow appeared in bit roles for three TV shows and a single indie movie. He found that his dream wasn't what he thought it would be. So he used his money from his acting gigs to finance his own gym, Tears Gym, to reasonable success. The Dark Side Dave Channel, formerly the Dark Side Phil Channel, had gone silent nearly 40 years ago. Dave had gotten a job per his viewers' suggestions and gradually uploaded less and less content. He eventually founded a company that saw Dave stop uploading altogether. Dave's Realty, the culmination of Philip Burnell's work, was sold off as outlined in his will. 
The money from this supported his remaining family even unto his eventual grandchildren. Dave Burnell's legacy was one of hilarity, humility, camaraderie, cooperation, irreverence, and success. His few slip-ups, scandalous events, and disasters were always recovered from by heeding the advice of fans and detractors alike. He made his mark and fortune, then transitioned into a family man. The internet saw many stars crumble and fall amidst the pressure. But Dave demonstrated an ideal route away from life on the internet. So ends his story. The internet brings countless unique characters into the lives of many. Some strive to make the world a hellish place. Others seek only to bring happiness to others. And others are destined for obscurity. The internet will continue to bring joy, grief, inspiration, aggravation, and ever more lolcows.